What's the nastiest thing you saw today at Wound Clinic? I don't know. I think the nastiest stuff is stuff I smelled. Like, I don't know what I smelled. I don't know if it was a wound or if it was just that video. I don't know what I smelled. I think it was the wound, but I don't know. The funniest thing I heard though is, so what we do, we like take the dressings off, we clean them up, right? Mm -hmm. And then the the nurse or the doctor, the nurse practitioner or the doctor comes in and they usually like poke at it a lot more and like take sloth and scabs off. Like they, they get it all red because they got to clean off stuff so it'll heal. So <laughs> she's like sticking this curette, I think is what it's called, this metal thing in this hole in this guy's foot, cleaning it out. And he's like... <laughs> I don't know how this thing's gonna heal if you guys keep picking at it. <laughs> but, yep, like that goes against everything they teach you. But it's funny. Like, I don't know how this is gonna heal if you guys keep picking at it like this. See any open wounds bleeding oh, saw, all over the place? I saw blood. I saw a lot of blood. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's gross. So this is your favorite clinical rotation? I don't know if it's my favorite. I like it a lot better than cardiovascular. I was kidding. <laughs> like, I do enjoy it. They've got a good camaraderie back there. They want to teach me like they want me to learn. Yeah. They're good. They're good people. That's good. And I'm learning stuff. It is cool. Like, wound dressings are really cool. I just don't want to be sticking Q-tips into wounds to see how deep they are. But the nurse practitioner and the doctor do the really gross stuff. Although the nurses do some gross stuff, I'm at this point definitely not comfortable doing. It's gross. <laughs> Almost done with your clinical stuff. I'm going to see an ostomy. I haven't yet. I want to see an ostomy, though. What's an ostomy? It's like a little hole in your stomach that you can, like, poop out of or pee out of it if it's a urostomy, I think. So but... you, you know you're going to see one? Uh, I should get to. Yeah, they deal with them. Oh. I told them I want to see that because that's something I might deal with in home health. Well, fun, like, fun. I know other kids in the waiver program have stomas. Gotcha. So, I'd like to learn about stomas. It's basically a, a butthole on your stomach. But, like, if you have to get some of your colon removed, you might need it. Or, if you have a really bad wound on your butt, you might need it so that you're not constantly getting stool in that wound. Even. And just the stuff that they can do nowadays. I know, it's crazy. You can poop out your stomach if you need to. That's crazy. Some people think that's like really, really, really gross. I mean, it's just putting your butthole on your stomach. Yeah. I mean, you got a butthole anyway. Right. It's just in a different spot. Yeah. You can put pictures of stomas. <laughs> I, like... I think I'll pass on that. Uh, tell me in a comment, do you have a stoma? They're a good thing to have. We're glad we have them. Like, I, I, don't, I don't think that'd be the end of the world if I had to get a stoma. Yeah. It's easier to keep my butt clean. Yeah, I just think it's crazy that they can do all these kinds of things, like, yeah. to help. I mean, it helps people. Yeah. A lot of people. people really have trouble adjusting to the thought of that. And so I kind of just want to see, like, what's the big deal? Yeah. Like, why is it so hard to yeah. adjust to? It doesn't seem that big a deal to me. But yeah. I don't know. I've only seen them on video. Yeah. I'll see some stomas. Well, glad you're home. Me too. <laughs>